the DLC thus far for Infinite Warfare, I definitely think that DLC 3 has some of the best multiplayer maps for sure. And we talked about the other day, the most fast paced map that being Permafrost in DLC 3 in terms of those multiplayer maps, but this one is right up there with it here as well. Today we're gonna be talking about Bermuda in this video, another close quarters, really fast paced, high action map that I think a lot of you guys definitely will enjoy, especially if you're one of those running gun type of play styles like I am here in pretty much every Call of Duty. This one is dominant by shotguns and SMGs, and depending on how you wanna play it, maybe some assault rifles as well, but personally, I think those two classifications, because it is so close quarters, it is very tight, especially in the middle of the map, it's something that you definitely want to have your guns up and be ready for anything. So that said, we're going to be giving you guys a little bit of a breakdown and then some regular raw footage of Bermuda here within this one. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. Many thanks to my good friends in Activision and Infinity Ward for flying me out to LA and bringing me out to the studio to be able to capture this footage here for you guys. But with that said, let's jump right into a little bit of detailed analysis here of Bermuda. Once again, this one is super fast paced, very high action, all that good stuff. And it's also a traditional three lane map as well. With with a different couple of choke points on each side and maybe one side favored a little bit more so in a little bit of the movement area and basically what you can pull off. So if you're playing domination, we'll refer to as that simply because it's easier to refer to A side, C side and things like that. B flags on the outer perimeter of the middle of the map with the interior of the warehouse being something that honestly, unless you have your guns up and once again, the guns are blazing, you might not want to necessarily go into because there's seemingly always somebody there. There's rotations going on in there as well all the time. And so it is something that you want to be ready here for this. But if you're on C side trying to push B, it becomes a little bit tough because the A side definitely has the upper hand advantage, if you want to put it that way, the higher ground where they have a little bit more area to spread out. Whereas if you're on the C side, you're either on lower ground and so the enemy is elevated above you or you're coming across the thin catwalk, which approaches and turns that corner into B almost immediately. So you can get picked off rather easily. So it's something that you want to have a little bit of support if you're going to capture B or at least flank that side. But as for the rest of the movement, there's a lot of different areas in which, once again, middle of the map is definitely heavily favored towards those SMGs and shotguns, but A flag, C flag side in terms of either TDM, whatever mode you're playing, has a little bit more open sight lines on things like that. So unless you're completely in the action, which you primarily always are, unless you're once again in those spawn points, there's definitely gonna be some engagements that are right up in your face. But all in all, I think this one is definitely one that once again, if you love to run a gun, you will love this map, as with how I think you will with Permafrost. That said though, it all comes down to personal preference and really what you guys think of once you get your hands on, which that as of July 6th, just a couple of days away from now, you'll be able to. But that's what we're gonna wrap it up. Just wanna give you guys a brief little overview, some of how this works here in terms of the map play style, how it flows, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoy and I'll leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay as well. Some shotgun action here as well on top of this gameplay that you're seeing now, the domination. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. Once again, a huge thank you and shout out to Active Vision and Infinity Ward for bringing me out to the studio, allowing me to get this footage here for you guys early. And of course, a huge thank you to you guys for the continued support that allows me to be able to do this kind of stuff because without your support, none of this would be possible in any way, shape, or form. So thank you guys so much, truly from the bottom of my heart for supporting the videos, all that kind of stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you guys aren't in the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Infinite Warfare DLC 3, Modern Warfare Mastered, Call of Duty World War 2, Black Ops 3, Multiplayer, and Zombies of the Zombies Chronicles, all that good stuff we got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to share up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said, now that way, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Nicole Espresso. Take care and peace. Secure in Bravo. Allied drone package entering airspace. Assist your team at A. We're winning this fight. Losing A. Losing Charlie. Enemy has Alpha. B secure. Enemy at C. Securing A. Your teammate called in Scorcher. You're needed at B. Alpha secure. Enemy UAV. Assist your team at Bravo. You're needed at Bravo. Losing B. Go 
Be ready. 